wanted to talk quickly about rotary cutter blade safety and uh, needle safety, actually. Um, I like to use a nice sharp blade on my rotary cutter um, only because it's nice to have a nice clean cut and the fabric doesn't pucker and do all that stuff. And while I'm using it, I always, every time I finish a cut and I'm going to put my cutter down, I always make sure to close it. If you don't close it and it's down and you go to grab it or somebody else comes to help you, <laughs> we all have helpers, um, they could easily cut themselves. So it's very safe to just close it. Just get into that habit, just do it right off the bat. As far as taking um, a new uh, blade out of the, the package, be very careful, of course. They are stuck together. Um, feels like they've, it's got some oil in between it. So definitely be careful and just, you know, of course, don't hold it by the sides or, you know, just be very gentle. And when you are changing them out and you have an old blade, um, do you just throw it in the trash can? No, I have kept this old um, package uh, and I just put an X on it so that I know that these are my trashed blades. Um, and then when I'm done with them, I can always just tape it if I wish and just throw it or I can just throw it because it's a secured case. As far as needles go, I like to change out my um, sewing needles in my sewing machine. You know, it varies every, sometimes every eight hours or when you start a new project. Um, and I keep them in this little medicine container and I nicely decorated with some fabric just so you can't see inside it because you know, a lot of times there's curious little children around. Um, so I put in like my broken, my broken needles. I put in my bent pins. Um, and then when it gets filled up, I can throw it away safely as well. And um, nobody else will be injured by my, my sharp needles. So I hope you enjoyed this tip.